Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, out here with Sarah. She just got done recording a video for you guys. And I thought I would record a little video. Uh, I'm getting ready to do a series on starting your own lawn care business in basically what is a recession. And I'm going to give you guys some tips, but the one thing I want to say, and what, what's making me do this video is... You know, there's a lot of people out here that are negative towards you for things you've said or things you've done in the past or just your past in general. And um, what you should do is, you know, a, a lot of us want to be liked and, and we all want to be... Uh, the person that wants everybody to think they're okay and think they're doing the right things and all this and that. But I'm going to tell you, I wouldn't give two shits about what anybody thinks of me. Let me tell you that. Because in the end, if you can go to sleep at night and you know you did 100% everything you could do to do your best... That is really all that matters. And you're going to find out one of these days that the people that are holding you down or constantly have something bad to say about you, well, they're simply jealous that you're doing the things that they will not do or cannot do because they won't take the steps to do it. And uh, I'm just going to tell you, be the best you that you can be and never let anybody hold you down. People like to project their shortcomings on you. Or they like to hold things over your head. Oh, you said this six months ago. Or you did that four years ago. Or you did this three years ago. Or you did this ten years ago. I had a uh, post on Facebook long time ago. And uh, probably about a year and a half ago, you know, people like to make videos about you and tell everybody how wrong you are and how bad you are as a person. And uh, I took that to heart. I was like, oh my God, these people don't like me because of this. Well, I learned something. I learned something. I could care less anymore what anybody thinks of my personal feelings on people, places, things, religion, anything. I could care less. So what I'm trying to tell you is, own your past, man. I've said and done so many bad things in my life, I can't even begin to count it. I don't care. That is the past, man. You're gonna, you're gonna let somebody who has no bearing on your life judge you and make you worry about something you did 10 years ago or three months ago or a week ago. Who cares? When you start realizing that what people think about you doesn't matter at all or what people say about you doesn't matter, the bottom line is people are jealous of success and they're jealous of it because they won't do what it takes to get where you are so whether it's business whether it's YouTube whether it's Instagram whether it's your next door neighbor or your best friend uh, we have a tendency to worry about what our friends think well I'm gonna tell you if you got a friend that worries about what you do or what you think, you got the wrong friends, man. You got to have friends that say, you know what? I like you just the way you are because 
not you say it. what you think, you do what you believe in, and you don't care what anybody thinks of it. I'm going to tell you, the key to success in your life is going to be when you can worry about what you think. When I care about what only Shane thinks, I've made it. When I go to bed at night and say, you know what, you were the best Shane that you could be today because you were who you are and you didn't care about what anybody thought, I made it. I did it. I succeeded. And I took a little over a month off YouTube because I was so worried about what people thought of me. And what if somebody says you did this or says, I don't give a shit anymore. There's people out there that sent me stuff that you did this and you said that and you did this and whatever, man, whatever. You either like me for who I am and you're on my side and in my camp or you don't like me and I can't change that and I'm not going to change it because you're inconsequential to me if you're not adding something to my life. So... Guys, if you want to be a success, do you and forget, forget what anybody says about you because it's not going to help you a bit. When you let all that go and you're who you are, 100% genuine self, you've made it. There's really no reason I'm making this video other than for me. And to let you guys know, when you're who you are, and people don't like you, or you say, hey, I'm going to do this one thing, and people say, man, I don't know if I'd do that, who cares what they would do? You do it. You succeed at it. And when you succeed at it, people are going to say, man, I never thought he would do that. One thing I've learned, and one thing I know about myself, I'm unpredictable. And when you become unpredictable, it scares people. Because people don't know what you're thinking. They don't know what you're going to do. They don't know what you're going to say. And uh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. In my book, you may think I'm crazy. Y'all may, I, believe me, man, I've seen the comments. He ain't going to quit YouTube. He likes the money too much. He ain't going to do this. He likes this. He just doing this for the super chats. He's just doing this for... You can think whatever you want to think about me. You don't matter to me. Okay? You don't matter. What matters is me. And if you're watching this video... And you get anything out of it, understand this. The only person that matters to you should be you. What you think of you. What you feel about you. Who cares what Shane thinks of you? Who cares? I've, I've seen people say, oh, I'm so glad I'm away from him. I, I like, you want to be with the sludge, be with the sludge. You want to be with the winners, be with the winners. You want to be with the losers, be with the losers. Be whatever you are comfortable being with. If you don't like pushing yourself past the point that everybody else... You know, I, I, I learned this. Losers hang with losers. Winners hang with winners. People who are ambitious hang with those who are ambitious. People who want to feel good about what other people think of them hang with that crowd they got to have somebody's affirmation I don't need any of y'all's affirmation I told you yesterday I'm gonna make real videos I've talked to quite a few people over the last month and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna name some names my dude Randall that guy's as real as it gets now you may not like what he has to say, but I know one thing, he don't care. Ray Ray, that's as real as it gets, man. 
I've seen people say, you're too hard on people, Ray Ray. Ray Ray is running a business for him. He's not running a business for one of these flunkies that don't want to show up every day. Okay? You may not like the Lawn Stars, but they put out some hella good content. Why don't people watch them? Because people don't want to watch work. If you notice, people want to watch new things, new flashy things being thrown in their face. <clears throat> you know what new flashy things do? They leave you broke. Ray Ray's got an X mark that's probably 10 years old, and he's out making the Gitas with it. Okay? You don't need something shiny and new to make money, folks. You need a drive to make money. Anyway, I hope you get something about what I'm saying. I hope you understand it. But uh, until tomorrow, Doc is out of here. As always, keep it real. I'm out of here. Peace.